good day. My name is Amr Abdullah. I am uh, a graduate of uh, ICAR 2001. This is when I received my PhD. Uh, my relationship to ICAR goes way back. I remember starting my first course at ICAR in 1987, uh, when they used to be in one of those trailers at uh, George Mason University. And um, from there, I received my master's in sociology with concentration in conflict from ICAR and also received my PhD that I worked on from, 2000, from 1994 to 2001. I also worked at George Mason University at that time, and uh, by 2004 I finished with uh, George Mason and came here to the University for Peace in Costa Rica. And um, uh, it's been really a great experience to have been a, a graduate and a student of ICAR and then to come to a place like UPS, which has given me all the space I need to apply and implement everything we have learned at, at, at ICAR. I would say that it's not only about uh, what I learned at ICAR and what I brought here to UPS, it is also about the connections and the relations we have with the many, many professors that I have so much gratitude for who I am proud that I was able to uh, connect them to ICAR. For example, Professor Rich Rubenstein, he serves on uh, UPS's International Academic Council, which is the highest instance that approves all academic programs at UPS. Professor Kevin Avrok, uh, Greg Selitzer, Linda Johnston, Mohammed Abu Nimer, uh, among many others from ICAR have come here to teach uh, often and we continue to rely on ICAR professors and graduates to strengthen our uh, experience here at UPS. I also um, have been using a lot of what I learned at ICAR. Uh, ICAR has been, um, I, I call it home. It is home for me, uh, away from home. I came to the United States uh, in 86, 87 and uh, George Mason in general and ICAR in space to grow, a space to fulfill myself, and a space to learn, and from which I moved on to do wonderful things all over the world. Uh, in terms of what I learned in term, uh, for teaching and for uh, being in the classroom, uh, ICAR, when I was a student, was a, a surprise. I still remember the days of doing uh, as a course on the practices of uh, interpersonal conflict management or something like this with Wallace Warfield. Uh, I remember that course uh, done uh, over uh, a regular uh, three credit course, but I think it was a total of four credits. And uh, the weekends included uh, people bringing food from their own culture. That was just a wonderful experience. The interactive teaching that we had in such class uh, is something that touched me. And, uh, and I am, I've been applying this here at UPS, making sure that all our master's degree programs have such interactive courses, especially to, pro to strengthen the skills of mediation, negotiations, and problem solving, active listening, and communication in general. I also learned how to, uh, to, to combine the theory and the practice together. And, uh, of course, being a student of, uh, of Rich and Chris Mitchell and others, uh, you cannot help but to learn so many rich theories uh, that inform our knowledge. And uh, those theories have been now established as part of the foundation course at UPS, basic human needs, relative deprivation, uh, some of the psychological theories that Michel de Baron used to emphasize are definitely among the key uh, theories that we use in the foundation course and every student who comes through UPS has to become familiar with them. Uh, I also uh, have so much uh, appreciation for what I have learned from, uh, from ICAR in terms of how to work with people from different cultures. Uh, here I have to say that UPS is a much more intense multicultural place. Uh, true, at ICAR maybe we had meet people from many, many more different cultures. But here at ICAR, at, at UPS, uh, we have the students all living together for one year in one small uh, area and neighborhood. And the intense relationship that we have every day on a social level, academic level, professional level, is just amazing. But ICAR prepared me for this. I still remember uh, that the years I, I was at ICAR, students from, from Georgia, from India, from, uh, from Europe, from Latin America, uh, from the United States, of course, from the Arab world, from Africa, 
I mean, I, I made friends, friendships for life that until now enrich uh, my, uh, my work. Uh, of course, it is no secret that many people <laughs> refer to us as the ICAR Mafia uh, because of the strong relationships that we have developed over the years. And in a way, I think that, uh, of course, the Mafia being a negative term and referring to gangs and everything, of course, that's not the case at all. But in terms of networking and bonding, I think if that's what we mean, then yes, ICAR is a great Mafia. And uh, I have been really fortunate to meet many of our ICAR colleagues all over the world, in different board meetings, in different workshops, and uh, referring them to do some work for us uh, in different places, they refer me to do work. I think that uh, we have a trust and confidence. When I know that somebody is an ICAR graduate, it, it comes with a specific understanding that this is a person who shares my knowledge, who shares an experience that we cherish as perhaps the, the highlight of our development as professionals, and uh, a certain approach to peace and conflict uh, that is comprehensive, that is multidisciplinary, and that is interactive and compassionate, and has in the heart of all of it the concept of empathy and appreciation for everyone around us. ICAR prepared all this for me, and, uh, and I am happy, fortunate, and blessed to be here at UPS, where every year I get about 200 students attending our 10 master's degree programs. Uh, coming through, and in my position as the vice rector, uh, I am uh, working with a wonderful group of faculty members who are uh, ready and uh, willing to absorb this kind of uh, style and model of ICAR into what they are using in the classroom, and uh, what they are doing also in the interaction with people. I think uh, your piece is, uh, the uniqueness of your piece is about not just the classroom and the 10 master's degree programs, but also about how we deal with each other, how we students, staff, faculty interact. I think talking about horizontal relations, talking about egalitarian place, you wouldn't find a place uh, like this uh, as I see it here at your piece. Uh, and again, that goes back to what I learned at ICAR. I remember uh, how simple and humble my teachers, those great teachers we had at ICAR, have always been. I can tell you stories, but I'm not going to get into some of the very personal uh, 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 examples of stories when professors at, U at ICAR have really contributed to my life, to my experience as a new immigrant in the United States, supported me on many, many levels, and opened their homes, opened their offices, and, uh, and just provided way much more than what you expect from a professor in order to keep me going. This has touched me to a great extent, and I think that I am translating this in how I deal with my students here at UPS. Uh, I think all the students here realize that my office is always open, that I will be there for them for everything they need. And, uh, and I am very, I feel, I mean, if one thing I can feel proud about at, U, at UPS is being able uh, over the last six, seven years here to connect so closely to, with our students and to give them uh, a friend figure, a teacher figure, and a father figure, and a brother figure uh, who is helping them in many ways. Again, uh, this is because of how I felt this care and, uh, and bond and consideration from my professors, whether it was Rich or Kevin, uh, Chris Mitchell, Michelle LeBaron, uh, to name a few, among so many other people. They have really influenced me, and as we say in the field, they transformed me. And I hope that this transformation is helping me today and helping my colleagues in how we work with our students at UPS. I am hopeful also that uh, very soon, we can uh, start to build stronger relations between UPS and ICAR. Uh, I think that there is no competition at all between the two organizations. ICAR is definitely the mother of all conflict and peace programs, and we all know that. And for this, um, I think that we can uh, learn so much at UPS. Also, I believe that at UPS we developed something very unique with our 10 specialized master's degree programs in areas such as gender and peace building, international law and human rights, environmental security and peace, peace education, media peace and conflict. Each of those master's programs, they take uh, as the foundation four of the courses that uh, you know are required at ICAR. You have to take a course on, like, the, we call it the CONF 501, I still remember the name. 
you have to have something like this here at UPS. You have to have the practices on, on conflict management or resolution or transformation. Uh, you also, this is a required course here. Research methods, of course, everyone has to get this. Plus a course related to multiculturalism, peace and conflict. Those are four required courses in all our programs. But beyond that, each program goes in its own uh, specialized area and gives a series of courses focused on media, gender, uh, peace education, uh, and environment, and so on. I believe that if we can come up with some arrangement where students at ICAR, whether at the PhD or the master's degree level, can uh, take some of the basic and foundational courses that they need to take, and some of the very specialized courses also at ICAR, but then come here to UPs and benefit from our very specialized master's programs and take some of the courses there. And then maybe later we can jo jo jointly advise the thesis for a master's or a PhD dissertation. I think that we have a great win-win situation here. And I welcome uh, exploring this uh, with my, uh, my teachers and my colleagues at ICAR. I, we are very open to this idea here at UPS. And I think that we owe it. We owe it to people who come to study uh, in the area of peace and conflict, uh, whether they are at ICAR or they are here at UPS. Again, all I can say is I have, ICAR has my full gratitude for everything I have learned, for the people I met, for the friendships I made forever, for uh, the growth, the transformation, and, uh, and for giving me the opportunity to be successful at UPS and in other places. So thank you, ICAR, forever, and definitely you will always be the home away from home. Thank you.